Division 5 Regional Democratic Council held a meeting with contractors and suppliers last Friday at the Council's boardroom in Fort Wellington. Shenis Beckers reports. The Regional Executive Officer and Administrators of Region No. 5 on Friday last held a meeting with suppliers and contractors at the Region 5 RDC boardroom, Fort Wellington, West Coast, Barbies. The meeting gave contractors the opportunity to voice their concerns, but it was also to introduce them to the region's new Regional Executive Officer, Mr. Ovid Morrison. Sandy Ross, Regional Information Officer, commenced the proceedings with introductions. Mr. Ovid Morrison, Regional Executive Officer. Mr. Gopin Singh, Deputy Regional Executive Officer. Mr. Dan Paul Sukha, Regional Engineer. And Mr. Delton Benjamin, Superintendent of Work. Well, I'm Sandy Ross, most of you know me, Information Officer, and carrying out the duties of the Secretary to attend the board. We are here to, first of all, introduce to you, are you? He has come to this region with a wealth of experience and a whole host of credentials, which if I should start to go through will take me maybe till tomorrow. Mr. Dan Paul Suka, regional engineer, in his address apologized for the setback in works, noting that it is due to bad weather conditions and scarcity of materials. However, he noted that during this period to the end of October, all or most of the works will be completed. He went on to say, We are pushing towards that deadline and I will implore on all contractors here to work along with the administration, work along with myself and my department to meet whatever deadline is set. Um, for this year, I know there have been some changes in the tender documents, uh, in the tender process, wherein uh, for our last opening there were uh, for instance, two copies of the tender documents that had to be submitted instead of the usual one and so on. Um, likewise, within the tender document itself, there have been some changes. Um, I would like, just like to highlight that some, most of these are not the decision of the RDC or decision of the engineering department or the administration, rather it is new um, amendments that was done to the Procurement Act of uh, 203 that we are now implementing and it is part of a holistic um, approach to have uh, in all regions as well as all agencies to, for them to maintain the similar tender documents tender, and the tendering process. Mr. Suka then apologized to contractors for not notifying them of the changes in the tender documents, which may have caused contractors to be rejected for contracts. Let me apologize to contractors present uh, for that. I think that this meeting should have been held um, prior to those documents being um, sent out so that all contractors could have been properly uh, educated on the changes and so on so that at the time of opening, your tenders would not have been rejected. Regional Tender Board member, Ms. Rennie McCallman, expressed her concerns with the contractors. Fellow contractors, my name is Rennie McCallman. I'm a member of the Tender Board. Uh, I, I'm not aware if I am known to all of you here, but some of you I have known and some I don't, but one of the serious concerns I have is over the last couple of months, there was so much happening as it relates to the tender board and contractors, and there were so many um, things that were being said about members of the tender board as it relates to favoritism with contractors and um, I have been around and I've been hearing some of these things. I just want to let all you contractors know that I was placed on the tender board not to discriminate. I was placed there to be fair and that is exactly what I plan to do or what I intend to do. The REO in his address said, 
as you perhaps may have been aware, the RDC and the councillors of the RDC is responsible for making the policies likewise or equal to the government of the day making the policies and the permanent secretaries and so execute those policies. The RDC makes policies and the administration of the region and the administration of the NDCs execute the policies on a day-to-day -day basis. We cannot execute those policies in isolation. We could only achieve the fulfillment of those policies collectively. And that ends the reason for you being here to solicit your cooperation in this wider team that we are now going to forge to ensure that we provide the service that is needed in the community and the development that we all aspire or hope for. Ms. Ross then explained the newly formatted tender document. First of all, I wish to state that the bit data sheet, which in the work tender, the supplies would be different. But for works on page eight, that would carry all the, the directions that the bidder is supposed to follow. Now, we've moved away from only doing one copy to doing of the original and the copy. I know some people are complaining that it's too much money, and, and but that's the rule and we have to go with it. Now, when you do the original, you address it just like you would address the outer envelope. When you do the copy, you do the same thing. And then you put both in one big envelope and you address it, project name to the top left-hand corner, Chairman Regional Procurement and Tender Administration Board, region number five, Fort Wellington, West Coast Board is in the middle. And if we're gonna go to the length to put do not open until such time on the date of the opening, then we need to put that at the bottom. If you, you address the two internal envelopes and you do not put anything on the outer one, we will know which project, what document, it, and it will be deemed non-responsive in the sense that even from the opening, we will disregard it. Contractors were allowed to voice their concerns. That's true. Um, my concern with the document is that no one is passed when we bid in George. No. There is one item that is requested on these documents that I find a little ridiculous. I want to endorse and concur with Mr. Strode when he spoke about writing to the administration, the RDC, and not getting a response. I'm a victim of the same thing. Not only as it refers to the uh, execution of work, there are other issues that one might have written to the RDC on and not getting a response. This is the first time I come among this gathering and it is the first time I do the things them so I could get contract with this government. And it was promised that they are the new uh, the new contractors then they would get something from this new system that we are in. But among all the talking here I right, listening now, uh, maybe not to mention what the new person then or what road we should take and uh, this kind of thing. She needs Beckles reporting for Channel 8 News.